Assalamu alaikum everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Today I had a really busy day in the salon, so I'm gonna get straight to it. I had a brand new client in, this lovely Italian client of mine. She had quite wishy-washy, coppery, red-toned hair that she had previously done herself during lockdown using numerous amounts of box dyes, which I completely condone. Don't use it, don't do box dye. It's so bad for your hair. Get your hair professionally done. It's so much fun, it's so worth it. So we had a nice long consultation with my client and wanted to know what she wanted and what she wanted to achieve. And then she finally chose a colour and I went ahead and mixed it. If you want to know the colour formulation and how I mix the tone, please let me know in the description box and I'll reply back to you. It came out absolutely stunning. Magenta, coppery, red, I don't know what you want to name it, a berry kiss. After I finished work and pick up the kids from school, we ended up going to the High Street Fair. This fair comes to Stevenage every year in September. Last year it was closed unfortunately due to the coronavirus and pandemic, but this year it returned with a big bang and it was extremely successful. This fair dates back to 1281 and was first appointed by King Edward I. We used to love going to this fair back in the 90s. Yep, that's how old I am. It hasn't changed much since then. Um, it used to be huge back then, to go from one end of the high street to the other end. And now as the years go by, and um, theme parks are getting more accessible to get to, locals do like to travel more outwards than going into town fairs. So the fair has got a bit smaller in recent years. But still, the big rides are still here. I love this ride. I did ask my wife if she'd go on it. She said, no way. She hasn't got over the first time she went on it about 10 years ago. Yep, we all went on the bumpy cars and got a massive whiplash afterwards. Why we do it, I don't know. Every year. And this ride, I don't, I don't know. Don't even entertain me with this ride, this is ridiculous. Why anybody would want to go on this, it's beyond me. It's just, it's a joke. Now this is more my cup of tea, but unfortunately I couldn't fit into it. Oh man, I was itching to go on this ride, but as there was just four of us, my wife and two kids, I didn't want to go on it on my own. I wanted to go on it with somebody so I could scream their ears off. Maybe next year someone will go on it with me. So about an hour later, um, I bumped into my sister-in-law and my brother and their two kids, and she asked me, will I go on this ride with her? And I stupidly said yes went on it and she screamed on stop the whole time. I think she even passed out once. It was hilarious. I was gutted it didn't have a camera on me, but it was super fun. Uh, the kids loved this little roller coaster. They went on it twice. Uh, my daughter was definitely showing off on this ride. She even put her hands up a few times. She's normally terrified of these sort of things. And my son is um, obsessed with thrill rides. Um, he just gets sensory overload. He loves it. Towards the end of the night, I told my daughter she could play um, a fishing game um, where she's catch a duck and then see what numbers underneath it and she wins a prize. She chose a little unicorn teddy bear, very cute. Um, it's time to go home now, so we're on our way back to the car. It's been a long night, we've actually managed to spend two hours at the fair somehow and spend a lot of money. After the fair, we were very hungry, so we popped into Nando's in Luton and we ordered some food. You're absolutely spoilt for choice in Nando's at the moment. They've got so many selections of sauces and dips. My wife ordered a peri peri chicken and so did the kids, and I ordered a veggie bean burger with a tender some broccoli side. 
I'm a vegetarian, unfortunately. I wish I could eat meat, but for some reason I can't. We don't have a halal Nando's in Stevenage where we live. So we travel up the road to Luton, where it is, where I'm absolutely obsessed with the peri peri fries. Do you know, I try to make these at home, but it never quite tastes the same. There's a secret that Nando's won't tell us. What is it? So that's a wrap of this video and vlog. I hope to see you next one. I love this.